In this video, we're going to concentrate on making a background image. So if I run the module at the minute, currently it is a sort of green background, but it doesn't look that great with these blue buttons. So I'm going to change that up. Now, to do it, what I need to do is get a background image. So this one that I've got here is quite a big image. Now, you can see it's a pattern. I made this in, in Adobe Fireworks. So you could use different packages to obviously make background images. And this one, as you can see, it's a bit, I've got it here as the dimensions, 1,680 by 1,050. So what you have to think about is essentially whenever you make this app look on a bigger screen, you want to have it in a, as a high-res image so that when you expand the app and make it bigger, it will be able, the image will be big enough to fit the whole screen. Okay, so in our procedure here that we've called GUI, um, we've got win.configure the background and there's just a color here which is this background color. So I'm actually going to take that away because I don't actually want it anymore. I'm going to use a background image instead. So here I'm going to just put a comment saying background image for app. And here what we will do is that we will put bg image which will be the, this is like a variable which will hold the function for um, image, for a photo image, right, so photo, photo image, and it's open and close brackets. So in here we just need to say the file name, so file equals, and then in quotes you put the name of the image. So mine was background.png, so you got to remember that the file formats that are available for use are PNG and GIF generally. PNG would be the better one to choose from. So here I will write background.png. Just check the spellings, right? Yep. Yeah. And you can say R here if you want to put that in for the root image, the root of this folder where this program is. Right, the next bit would be to put a label in here. Now, funny enough, background images or this function for photo image only works for labels and buttons, okay? And probably works for a few other widgets as well, but it doesn't work for frame. So here we've got frame, and you can see frame goes in the window and it's got a background. If I go down to where I've got a button um, here, you can see this next button. This has this option to put in an image, but frame doesn't have that. So if you try and do a frame, it'll come up with an error. So here we will just put in a label. We don't need to give it a name or anything. And then we put the dot place. And in the label here, we want to put it in the window and just say the image is equal to um, BT image. And then the place, what we want to do is make it 100%. So relative width. Rail width is one and rail height is one. Okay, so that should be it. If we just run this module then. Have a look. Okay, so I'm getting no errors and you can see there's the background image. Now, when I expand this and make it bigger, you can see the image still fits on this screen perfectly. Okay, so the next thing would be to start thinking about actually get information onto this.